So slope is the rate of change between any two points on a line. So that's all the things we talked about, the constant of proportionality, the slope, the change in y over change in x, the vertical change over horizontal change, or rise over run. Okay, so example one says the table shows the lengths of the patio blocks that are added. Okay, so we did a table last in the last unit. We found the change in the table. So we found the change here, the change here. Okay, so we found the change in the y because this is the x part and this is the y. So finding the change in the y over finding the change in x. So if I write that, I would say change in y over change in x, and I would get 8 over 1. What does that simplify to? 8. Okay. So that is our slope. Okay. That is one way to find it. So we're talking about this is our first way to find it. Okay, if we have a table, we can find it with a change, just like that. Okay, our second way. This right here gives us two points actually from up here in the table. So they're saying that this is a point and this is a point and they're bringing them down here, right here. Do you see that? Okay, so those are two points. So we're going to say this is point one here. So I'm going to label point one as x1, y1, because that's our point 1. And then I'm going to label the second one as point 2, which is x2, y2. Okay, so that being said, I'm going to write this equation down, and we're going to fill it in and solve it. So I put y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. So what is y2? I labeled it. What was it? 24. Okay. y1 is 8. Comes from right here. Over x2, which is 3, minus x1, ooh, I'm sorry, I wrote 2 there, I meant to write 1, I'm sorry, okay, so, which is 1, so 24 minus 8 is 16, okay, 3 minus 1 is 2, 16 divided by 2 is 8, so, it simplified down to the same thing. Note that our points that they used were not next to each other. So, we could use any two points and find the slope. Okay, any two points that are found. So, this is my second way. So, here's my third and final way that we're going to talk about today. Okay, these are the points from this chart right here. 0, 0, 1, 8. Because remember, points are x y, right? So 1, 8, 2, 16, 3, 24, 4, 32. Do you see where they got the points from? Okay, so they graphed the points. So my third and final way is going to be my rise over my run. Okay, so rise is exactly what you think it is. It's our rise. So it's going to be our vertical change okay so my vertical change from point to point is going to be eight and then my change horizontally from zero to one is one which is going to reduce to eight so every way we did it it took us to the same outcome do you get that yes Okay, so every way it worked, it took us to that same outcome, so 8. So let's look at the last part, and we're going to read through it. We're going to say, 
So for every blank inches, there is blank patio blocks. So for every, what's, what's the eight coming from? It's the inches. So for every eight inches, there is one patio block. How you feel about that? Not too bad, right? Okay. So let's look at number two. So first weight is the table. Okay, so I'm going to graph the points first because I'm just going to move them over. So I'm going to have cases is 1, bottles is 12, cases is 2, bottles is 24, 336, 448. Okay, so there I graphed my points. So I can mess with that here in a minute. So the change, we did in blue earlier, so we'll do with blue. From here to here is what? 12 to 24, what are you doing there? Adding what? 12. Adding 12. 24 to 36, adding 12. 36 to 48, adding 12. Okay, the change from one to two is adding one, adding one, adding one. Okay. So, Okay, so our change in Y over our change in X is 12 over 1. Okay, so the slope there is... 12. I don't, did we, we didn't need to fill it out. There wasn't a blank for it. Okay. So, but we can find it. This was way one. Remember way two was the two points. I could pick two points and do it. Okay. So I could pick the points, um, one, 12 and let's do four and 48 just for grins. Okay. So my point would be one, 12 and then four and 48. So let's do that. Those two points. Okay. So, um, if I label it x1, y1, x2, y2, my points were y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to go with y2 is 48, y1 is 12, x2 is 4, x1 is 1, 48 minus 12 is 36. 4 minus 1 is 3, and that gives me 12 also. So that was the way 2, right? Okay. My third way would be the rise over the run way. So it would be my rise over my run. So I would rise 12 and run 1. And notice it does... There, it does it consistently there. Okay. So that should be pretty good. Okay. Now, number three or number two changes a little bit. So I'm going to talk. So number two. Okay. I, we're not going to do the, the points on this one because it's a little bit difficult because it's dealing with time. But we are going to graph the points. So at 6 a.m., we're going to say 6 a.m., 28 inches. Okay. And then at 10 a.m., it was 16 inches. So I'm just going to graph those two. Now, note there's a change. On these other graphs, we were going which direction? Up. This one's going down, okay? So it's going to be a decrease. So it's going to be negative. Are you with me there? So the change from um, this one to this one is we're going to have to just do rise over our run because we can do the points. We can say it went 
10 minus 6, and that works because it stays in the a.m. section. But if it were to go over to p.m., it wouldn't work. Okay, so let's do our rise over our run. So I'm not going up. I'm going down. So I'm going to say down 1, 2, 3, which is technically 4 every time, right? So down 12, 12 what? Inches per how many hours? This is a 4-hour time span. So 4-hour time span. So if you used to, if you could do that, it's 12 inches per four hours, that would be negative three inches per hour. Man, we didn't write the slope on this other one. And so this was going to be, our slope is going to be negative three. And our slope represents um, three, receding, receding means going down three inches per hour. And I'm going to go ahead and write this one up here because I didn't write it. Um, this is saying 12 juice bottles per case. Okay. Try number three and number four on your own.